Well, we are in Keegan O'Toole Camp. This is Arrowhead High School South Camp. This is where I went to school. Keegan went to school here. Alex is climbing on the wall over there. Alex, the bitch can't get to the ceiling. The bitch can't get up to the ceiling. I bet you can't get up to the ceiling climbing on that fence. It's exciting because he's obviously our first NCAA champion. This is the first time we can get him back for the camp. He was kind of busy after season and whatnot. Um, it's Memorial Day weekend and we still, we sold out once. We sold out at 100 and then we kind of expanded a little more. So it's going to be a full house today. I'm excited for it. Kids are excited for it. We're going to have a great day. Um, hey, sorry that check-in process was harder than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to waste pretty much any time at all, guys. we got Keegan O'Toole here. He's our first NCAA champion ever. I'm hoping there's a bunch more sitting here in the audience somewhere. And make it better be. It better be. It better be. And he's going to teach a bunch of good moves today. Um, coach Randy Farrell is also the coach at right? so if you guys need anything, just everyone just ask him. Don't ask me, ask him. That's all I got. I'm going to shut up. It's your show today. Guys, I was actually telling my daughter this morning, wherever she's at, there's a lot of kids here. It's going to be really hard for him. Be respectful. Listen. Don't talk when he's talking. Okay? It's hard to teach his make kids. So please do your best to help him. All right. Good morning, guys. Fun. You all ready to get started? There's yep. a lot of people, so we're going to try to do the best, our best for warm up. We'll make it quick, uh, and then we'll get going. I mean, a lot of the stuff that I do, you guys probably know just because you know I came up through here. But I'm gonna try to pick out some stuff that um, maybe you haven't learned, and then obviously at a camp you're not gonna remember everything that I taught. So maybe pick out one to two things that you really like, and if you have a chance afterwards, or maybe in between, if we take a water break, just you know write something down because um, it'll help a lot. So let's uh, let's just get jogging a little bit. Let's go. Fake drag single, let's go, one, two, three. So wait, 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 slow down. So catch wrist, right? Now, fake the drag, but step with the other foot. Yeah, no, he brings that like, now, use this foot to push and take this foot to Big step, and try to reach up high in the armpit, so when I'm here, I can really step to it. Okay. Yeah, now when he reaches for you, 
it's such a point. You have to like reach and go this way. Other than just grab it. Yeah, so like right here. I'm switching this way. Now you can grab it. You can re-grab it. Yeah, now it's going to be hard to go. But if I catch this from here, now he reaches for me. Maybe I can have a snap hand up. Not not gripping it as tight as you can. It's more of like a longer pull. So like a short pull would be like boom. So like a long pull. Would be like this. Okay. You feel that? Yeah. Like how I'm following and my arm is long. No, but my, sh my shirts are coming out soon. Ooh. Pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay on the mat, don't run off the mat. You have a step. Step? So oh cool. yeah. Now, hey, hold on. Yes. Boom. Two. I know that if someone grabs my wrist in the match, if I go right here, he might have both my wrists, but he can't really do anything here. This is one another step, outside toe to toe, right next to him. My free hand is gonna reach to behind the knee. And once I'm ready, I'm gonna let go of the wrist and shoot my other hand back. Yes, but okay, so good, but step with your left foot like next to the toe. Yeah. Yes, there you go. All right, so that was a little bit trickier, but you guys got to give you a little more time. So that's pretty much it for when I just catch and roll him down, all right? So I'm gonna match his level and I'm gonna just reach down and catch his ankle. And this is not a shot. All I'm gonna do is drop and reach. So when he goes to it, drop and reach right here. And I wanna catch him as he's stepping in. So the reason this works so well is because everyone, when they fake, they fake and they pull their head back out. <laughs> so when you, when you fake in an actual moment, the proper way to fake is you wanna, you wanna Lower your level and you want to keep your head down because if he shoots on me, I can lift my heel up. He likes catching with this uh, cross pick almost. I don't know why, I just didn't feel that comfortable to me. Something you kind of have to figure out for yourself. But for me, I'm going to reach outside. So if he fakes with this leg, I'm going to catch here. If he fakes with that leg, I'm going to catch here. Yeah, let's go try it with the three. It could be whatever. Like you could end, like you could end up on a high crutch and on a single leg. You could have a What I'll do is single. You're shooting to it. Just drop and reach. So make sure you're like almost head to head. Yeah, just, that's it. Right there. Go to my ankle waist. Because if I come here and I reach, 
Now, sometimes you might be able to sprawl. Come here, make sure to come down at the foot. He has no way to sprawl. Let's go give it a try. One, two, three. That's why, that's why I gave you so many options because depending on what leg he fakes, so if he fakes here, and this you can't finish a high crotch side, you can go to single. If he fakes this one, this is your high crotch side, you can go to a double leg. You know what I mean? Make sure, make sure you're still doing it from the fake though, so part of your fake can catch though, okay? I mean, okay, so yeah, that, that's a little bit more high level question. So if he fakes and you catch, go split. So do it quick. That or like this. Oh. And I can shelve it, start getting my weight into it. So, so far, how do you think the camp is going? Uh, you know, I think this is great. We are, we're headed towards the finish right now. I think we're two out, over two hours in. Uh, everyone still seems to be enjoying themselves, paying attention, um, asking good questions. So yeah, every, everything's great. You ready? You gotta start from the wrist. Oh yeah. No, no, redo it, redo it. Wait, 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 you bring the play back to the double. Head up, yeah. There you go. Guys, you guys are too close. Well, you're gonna, you're the, you're gonna answer. Guys, um, you know we've always done this every clinician. You guys got a few minutes to ask questions as long as they're good ones. And after that, we'll do a picture. And after that, I told Coach Farrell we can clean up all the mats in 10 minutes. So we'll give instructions on that. But right now, you guys can ask Keegan any questions you want to ask him. Uh, so you've been in like a lot of big matches, right? Like, I don't know, like you consider like state like a big matches, but you've been in the state finals four times. You're in the national finals. You're in the national semifinals twice. Like. What do you think about, like, while walking down to the mat with all that stuff going on and, like, all the preparation you put in and, like, you've been in the position. Oh, and a world, world finals. I forgot about that. But, like, what do you think about when you walk out there, like, and why you're wrestling? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I like to just keep it as basic I, as I can. You know, there's, like, a couple sayings that I would have that my coaches and I would say to each other. Um, like, one of those would just be, like, have as much fun as you can or... Uh, like faith over fear, just like having a good time and just enjoying the moments. Because like, how many times am I gonna get to wrestle at NCAA's, or how many times am I gonna get to go overseas to wrestle? So as much as much as long as I'm uh, always trying to keep it fun and uh, enjoy the moment, I usually usually always keeps the nerves down. And once I start thinking like, oh, this is a big match, like I beat this kid one time before or whatever, that's when you know we start to overthink things and then you start wrestling bad. So two, three. What was it? I'm gonna try my best. What's your like mentality before like a, a wrestling match? Even if it's like an easy kid or a hard kid. Usually it stays the same. Just try to put as many points up as I can and uh, destroy everyone. I'm about to ask questions. Go one, one, two, three. Oh. No. I mean, I guess I just like. Uh, fact that I, I can be responsible for myself and I don't have to rely on like teammates or anything. Not that like obviously I have teammates, but it's not like I'm out playing football and if someone else messes up, it's not my fault. I did everything I could, but I could still lose. Like no one likes to lose. So I guess the fact that if I'm responsible for myself and the fact that you can get so good at wrestling because there's so many different like, there's so many aspects. Like you have top wrestling, you have bottom wrestling, you have freestyle wrestling, you have neutral, you have defense, you have offense, you have pinning, you have tilting. like. There's so many different things you can get better at. So you're like passionate about like outside, like outside of wrestling, like wrestling probably takes a big part, but like sometimes you just gotta like, there's gotta be something else that you like really enjoy doing. I mean, I just, I, I love the fact that 
I finally appreciated the, being in college and you know having the freedom to go hang out with people and really just building relationships with uh, my friends just because these are some like the best friends that I'll have and probably will have for a very long time. <laughs> Hold on guys, hold on. How many you got? That's right, I was too. Now can you autograph my shirt? Nope. <laughs> and now the football. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I already have like Goodness. Can you sign my shirt? Yeah, we're at. Uh, can you sign my face? No, get out of here. <laughs> uh, it was awesome. There was this great turnout. It was awesome that it was back in my high school. I remember wrestling in this gym uh, for four years, and it was awesome just the fact that uh, all my AWA homies came out and supported me, and uh, I got to learn from them, and they got to learn from me. Awesome. So what, what are your next plans here uh, in college and what do you have to say to everyone that aspires to be like, like yourself? Um, so my plans are just to hang out, uh, enjoy my summer, get a lot better at wrestling, get a little bit stronger, uh, travel around, do a little bit of hunting, uh, and then for next season just you know lock it in, make the right decisions, train as hard as I can, and have fun. And then obviously for people that want to aspire to be the best they can be, just just enjoy the ride. Uh, enjoy the ride, work as hard as you can because you only get one life. The camp's done now, how do you think it went? What are your thoughts? Uh, I thought it was totally awesome. We had 120 kids show up on a holiday weekend, ready to wrestle. And uh, I think they were sad when it was over. I think it was that good. So awesome to watch Keegan teach, you know, someone that I've seen grow up and now he's the man in charge and teaching moves. It's just, yeah, it's awesome. 